Welcome to Cooking Herbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Rebrandly API to make your own short links. So it's really easy. If I go here and I paste in a link, this is the link to my YouTube channel, and then I click on Make Link, look, there's a little link. And if I click on it, there's my YouTube channel. So then I can just copy this and it'll be a short link instead of a super long link. So, let's get started. So before we get started, you're gonna need to have a couple things ready. First, you need to go make an API key. You can do this at rebrandly.com. I'll put a link in the description. You can just sign up, then you go to your dashboard and click on API, and there you can create your first API key and that's easy. You'll need to have that copied. Another thing, you're also going to need to have the link to jQuery, which I will also put in the description because we're going to use jQuery. Alright, pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. Okay, first start by making a doc type tag. Doc type HTML. And I'm going to save this file so I get the nice HTML colors. I'm going to call it link short.html. Okay, that took a while. My computer was being annoying and it didn't want me to save it as an HTML file today. I don't know why. But now it has been done. So, Next, make an input tag. This is the little box where you'll type in the link. Input, and you should create an ID for it. ID equals, and in quotes, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call mine box, because you know, it's a box. All right, that's that. You don't have to close the tag because you know, it's an input tag and they're weird. On the next line, create a button tag button and type on click equals and in quotes make link or whatever you want to call your function I'm gonna call it make link open parentheses document dot get element by ID with a capital E B and I open parentheses and in quotes but not double quotes like over here make them single quotes over here that way it won't end them box close single quotes close parentheses dot value this will tell you what someone typed into the box and finally close those double quotes then inside the input tag I mean bleh, inside the button tag type make that link and close the button tag. Next, open a script tag. Script and type src equals and paste in the link to jQuery. Okay. Close quotes and close the script tag. Slash script all right, now open a script tag, script, and type var data to create a variable called data. Then on the next line, type function to make a function, and I'm going to call it make link, make link, because that's the same as up there. So make link open parentheses q or really whatever this is just going to be what the person typed in open curly braces then type dollar sign dot ajax open parentheses open curly braces url colon https colon slash slash api dot rebrand Lee dot 
com slash v1 slash links slash new question mark API key equals and paste in your API key. Okay, there's mine. Type and symbol, so ampersand, shift seven, destination equals close quotes plus Q. Oh, I just noticed. I didn't open the quotes way over here. You're going to want to open those quotes over by where it says URL colon. There's a quotation mark there. Make sure you have it. Okay. All the way after you close the quotes, plus Q, plus open quotes, ampersand, domain, open square brackets, full name, name with a capital N, name, close square brackets, equals rebrand. Dot ly. This is the domain where it'll put the link. If you have your own domain, you can type that in there, and if it's connected to your rebrandly account, then they'll use that one instead. Close quotes, comma, success, colon, function, open parentheses, raw data, data, close parentheses, open curly braces, var raw string, that's, this will create a variable called raw string, equals JSON with a capital J, S, O, and N, dot stringify, stringify, open parentheses, raw data. Close parentheses. This will create a string with the JSON object. Next, type data. This is the variable we made all the way up there at the beginning of the script. Equals JSON with a capital JSON -N dot parse open parentheses raw string close parentheses semicolon. All right, now we just need to output the link. Document dot get element, element with a capital E, by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, open parentheses, and in quotes, output, and close quotes and close parentheses, dot inner HTML, equals, and in quotes, open a tag, a, h ref equals, and open single quotes this time, https colon slash slash, close double quotes, plus data dot short url with a capital u, plus open double quotes, close single quotes, space, target, equals, and in single quotes, underscore blank, so that it will open in a new tab, close single quotes, close, greater, greater than sign, and close double quotes, plus data, same thing you typed over there, data, dot short URL with a capital U and plus open double quotes again slash A to close the A tab close double quotes semicolon get on the next line close curly braces those ones close curly braces those ones close parentheses and close curly braces semicolon slash script close the script tag all right now there's just one more thing we need to do make a div tag 
up here near the top, let's just put it right here under the button tag, div id equals, and in quotes, hmm, what should we call it? Let's call it output, output, because that's what I put down there. See, it's getting this div. And just don't put anything inside it and close the div tag. That's very important right there. Save that file. Pop open your browser. Drag the file into your tab. And let's paste in a link. Let's paste in the link to my YouTube channel. Oh, wait a second. Let's paste in, let's type in the link to GitHub. HTTPS colon slash slash github.com. Make that link. I found a mistake. You see over here where it says rebrandly.com? Well, I accidentally put a comma. Change that comma to a dot. Save that file. Go back to your browser. Reload the page. Click the button. There is another error. Over here, I forgot to close this parentheses over by dot value. So close that up. All right, save that file, and let's type in a link. Let's type in a link to https colon slash slash apple dot com. Why not? Make that link, and it works. So as you can see, we have a link right here, and if I click on it, it takes me to apple dot com, and you now have a shortened link. So. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. And remember, it's not about the yogurt. It's about the experience.